We sailed into the port of Genoa and today Santa Margarita was on our radar. We got to Genoa train station in plenty of time and the train journey itself was less than 30 minutes. So today we've headed from the port of Genoa down to Santa Margherita, which was a bit of a mission given our hangovers. I've got mouth like Gandhi's flip flop and I'm struggling, but we're going to check this out. So Santa Margherita is often viewed as a great base from which to explore the main sites of the Italian Riviera thanks to its location west of Cinque Terre. The town itself is quite low key. It's an insight as to how people actually live in this part of the world. I mean, is he taking a photo of me or am I taking a photo of him? <laughs> taking, he, he must know who I am. <laughs> we visited at the end of September and there wasn't much going on here in Santa Margarita. However, it was certainly very picturesque and the views from both sides of the bay were stunning. This is the Castello di Santa Margherita, built in 1550, its main purpose to defend against raids from Barbary pirates. We decided to wander around the other side of the harbour and look at some of these larger yachts. It wasn't long before we were in need of hydration and food. However, being out of season, we didn't have much luck. Again, being out of season, there wasn't a way to incite. We had things to do, people to see, trains to catch. Fortunately for us, we found Hotel Helios, who were able to prepare us a sandwich and a coffee in plenty of time for us to catch our train. The staff here were also top notch. No, up the steps. So in summary, Santa Margarita is a nice picturesque place with not a lot to do. Would we come back again? 
Yes, but I need to get the bus or the ferry to Portofino.